Today I want to talk about chem measuring chemicals into chemical inductors. There's literally three different ways. There's meters, scales, and guessing. The first one being meters, which have been around for a long time and companies are continually trying to improve on them, but we always have problems with viscosity and temperature because in the morning, you know, if it's 38 degrees and then later on the, in the afternoon, it could be 85, that chemical is kind of thinned out and the meter doesn't really take that into account because of the temperature. Then you've got batteries to contend with and maintenance always going on them. And then it's always a question in your mind, is it correct or not? The next one would be scale. Some people have gone to scales, which is a more expensive issue. You know, it takes that temperature viscosity out, but one of the issues you have there is different weights of chemicals. So you could have gasoline, for an example, weighs six pounds a gallon. Number two, diesel fuel weighs seven and water weighs 8.3. So you could have two different chemicals and one weighing one pound more than the other. And after seven gallons, you could have eight gallons in there. So that, that'd be one of the issues and then expense. And then the third one would be guessing. And what I mean by that, you pump the chemical into your tank, you look at the side marks on the tank and you've got a roadside angle issue going on there. And, and you kind of go back and forth and you'd say, well, I guess it's in between there and good enough. Well, what I've done to, to resolve all those three issues is I've come up with this Acra stick. And what that does, it sits in the middle of the tank because a gallon is a gallon. It doesn't make a difference. Viscosity, temperature, weight, a gallon is a gallon. So it sits in the middle of the tank there. And, you know, literally what you do, I get, uh, a point right here and a point right there. And when you set that at the gallons you want, when the chemical touches the bottom of the stick, you've got the amount you needed in the tank because I've gone ahead and calibrated all those numbers for each Pacific chemical inductor tank out there. So with that, I'm gonna have a, three little demos we're gonna go over to kind of show all those issues. And then I'll kind of sum it up at the end. So how do I go about getting the measurements for the Acura stick? Well, I start by pouring two quarts in and I make a mark on the stick. And I go two quarts at a time till I get to seven and a half gallons. And then after that, I do one gallon at a time till like this is a 60 gallon tank. So I went ahead and got measurements clear to 60 gallons. And what I wanna show you here is the top of my guide bar in the 60 gallon mark is 60 gallons that I measured out in that container there. And you can see how it's just touching the bottom of the stick. Now what's kind of interesting here is I've got this light in the tank so I can show this, but you can see this is the 60 gallon mark, but it's really only showing about 58 gallons on this tank and I'm on level ground. Now some of that probably comes from this tank isn't straight up and down. So in my situation, you know, when I do this, I take every, a real life situation, not a computer drawing type deal into account and get real life water situations there. So that's, after I get those measurements, then I, I actually measure that right down to a 16th of an inch. Then I do it, go on a CAD program get all those numbers entered in there right onto that stick and then I go and have it laser engraved um, embedded right into that stainless steel. So it's not quite as easy as some people think I just drew these lines on this stick. Um, it's, a, it's a long process but uh, well worth it and as far as I'm concerned it's the most accurate thing out there. I'm asked quite a few times will it come off? Well, I've been doing this now for three years and I've looked at the very first ones and they look just as good as the day they were engraved. So how this works, uh, after I got everything loaded in the CAD program, take it to this other person that has a laser engraver. They spray a chemical called Searmark on that and the laser goes over that and embeds all those numbers in there. And then they wash that off and this is what I got left over. So I'm gonna take this quarter here and I'm just gonna scratch on that and you can see it does not come off. Also I got this here, I'm going to show you, there's two most critical things on this whole deal when I do my measurements 
is the bottom and the top right there. That's your guide, and this is what you want to touch the water, and that's what I get all my calculations off in. It is completely stainless steel. So this is a 30-gallon East Rotable tank. Got my 30-gallon Acro stick in there for measuring. I've got it up showing like it's at 28 gallons because we're going to go into this demonstration over there of a cutaway view of this tank. I do have this easy handle on there that I've developed, I guess, also, so you don't have to bend over. But uh, this is a simple installation. It's probably 10 minutes at the most to install this. Self-storing when you're done. And like I say, you, you put the number there to the top of the guide bar, what you want, and the Kinnick hits the bottom of the stick, that's what you got. Kind of a close-up view demonstration that's going to show about roadside angle. I've got, I wanted 27 half gallons in there, so I set my stick there 27 half, filled it up till it hit the bottom of the stick. You can see how I've got 27 and a half here, 27 half there. There again, doesn't make a difference what the viscosity of the chemical, chemical is, the temperature. Uh, a gallon is a gallon of a liquid form. So what this really demonstration is going to do is really show roadside angle. So you can see here, I'm just zero degrees here and level. But as I pull this this way, now I'm at just a little over three degree angle, which is could be normal if you're on the roadside there. Now you can see I'm reading about 30 over here now and 25 there. Kind of go the other direction, stays the same. Now, what's really interesting is, not you'd ever do this because you'd be going in the ditch at that stage. Um, I can be at 45 degrees and I still got 27 and a half gallons. So there's, I don't think anything out there more simple than this and least expensive that will last literally forever. Another thing I've developed, which is the most simplest thing out there, but uh, people think more about this than they actually do the aqua stick, is this valve handle. You know, usually everybody's down on their hands and knees constantly. So, it, you know, there again, it took me a while to kind of get everything just right. It's all stainless steel. I got everything just to pivot just right. And uh, I've pretty much got them for every inductor that I've done, and I've figured out some other situations for other guys. But uh, it don't get no simpler than that. So to wrap things up here, I've got these acrostics mainly for the Ace Rotomol tanks, the 30, the 40, the 60. I've done an FS40, and I'm kind of working on some hypros because Tank specific is an issue because when you get up to the top, every three eighths of an inch is a gallon. That's how critical, you know, you want to be on this whole deal. And I do make other products. I don't have a website, but I am on YouTube. I do a lot of uh, video, self-help videos. I do transport loads. I do work in McDon bean heads too. But uh, the Acro stick right now is $125. That valve handle riot is $40, and then if it's, both of them are very UPSable, so the freight's not that high on top of that. But uh, I'm going to get this posted, and any comments, I'm more than glad, uh, good or bad, I want to hear about them.